And welcome back. Well, today we're going to introduce you to a new series here on The Morning Blend, and we are super excited about it. It is called The Mater Menu. Yeah, our friend Tyler Mater is a classically trained chef, and he is picking his favorite dining destinations in southeast Wisconsin. For this month's pick, Tyler takes us to Delafield, where eating is like a religious experience. I'm Tyler Mater. Welcome to downtown Delafield, affectionately known by many as Hallmark Town, USA. And it's right here inside this former 19th century church that restaurant owner Amy Quinn forever changed dining in Delafield by embracing local farmers, community, and the motto of food and friends. It's time to make your reservation at Belfry Kitchen. This is the Mater Menu. All right, Chef Jason, this is incredible. We got some big slabs of meat here, which we know yes. is gonna be an awesome finished product. So tell us what we're gonna be looking at. All right, so we got two 100% Black Angus short ribs here that we're gonna rub down with some salt and pepper, get it on the grill, and get it ready for the oven. Gotta love Angus, great marbling throughout, right? Yep. A ton of flavor profile. Yep. Fantastic. A little salt and pepper this. Nice. You gotta have the twinkle, right, on the oh, top? Yes. You gotta oh, be yes. able to work the, work the magic yeah. a little bit. There you go. Flame those out. All right, so we got this searing up, beautiful, incredible flames on there, six pounds of Angus. Now we got the braising liquid, right? Yep. All right, so mirepoix, carrot, celery, onion, just yep. developing the aromatic base, right? Yep. Fantastic. Now I don't season this because I salt and pepper the meat, okay. and at the end I do salt and pepper into the pasta Fish and the cold dish. True taste. Yeah, okay. so I don't try to get this too salty. One thing about salt and pepper is if you add too much early on, you can't take yeah, it out, Yeah, exactly, right? exactly. <laughs> So here we can start throwing our herbs, some sage, some thyme, some rosemary, some smashed garlic cloves. Oh yeah. So then what we can do now is we're gonna take our Nebbiolo. All right. Wine that we like to pair with this. There you go. And that's printing out the acid, right? Yep. So we're gonna go and do that. We wanna make sure we do that in the beginning too of the cooking process so that we get evaporate all that alcohol out. Absolutely. Fantastic. And then we'll add our beef stock and our crushed tomatoes and a bay leaf. Fantastic. This is the key, right? This Absolutely. is the key flavor profile of the dish. Yep. You know, once you take the time to go through the beginning foundational processes of all these incredible ingredients, um, you get this fantastic balance of flavor in a dish. And this is the most important part. Absolutely. Once this gets to a boil, we'll be able to transfer this into a pan, and we'll put our meat on it, wrap it up, toss it in the oven. Three and a half, four hours, all right. So here we have some chopped up oyster mushrooms and portobellas, some shallots, some garlic. This is your braised meat up, right? This is the braised meat that we are that's shredded already. And this is our braised, braised liquid, liquid. Okay. that's a little bit thickened with some roux. Mm. And then while this is kind of cooking here, we'll drop our fresh pasta. So that you're making that in-house. Absolutely. That pasta, that is an art form. There's a huge difference between store-bought and house-made pasta. The big finish, here we go. Hours and hours have gone into this dish. Look at that. Beautiful black Angus, four plus hours, braising liquid, rent rind reduction, homemade pasta. This is the place to come. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh my God. That Angus and homemade. <laughs>